Hey guys, Tokily Frog back again, and as you can see behind me, I have a little structure back there I just got done building. It is an automatic fishing house. I know it's not really a house, you can kind of pretty it up however you want. Um, we're going to go ahead and build that today. This is only going to work on the PC, guys, sorry. Um, you can actually, I think, modify it to work on Xbox if you take out the dropper system, but you'll see what I'm talking about here shortly. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. We'll build it right beside. First thing you're going to want to do is dig right here, like so. You're going to want to dig that out. You're going to place the dispensers facing that direction. Of course, all interlocking. Dispenser on top, facing down. Then you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself a, whoops, grab a dropper. Yep, dropper. Uh, grab that because we're going to need it. You're going to put one dropper facing up, one dropper facing <laughs> one dropper facing towards you. And then you're going to take one, two, three, all facing into the dropper itself. And grab yourself some chests, one here, one here. This will be the chest that holds your fishing rods. One here, one here. These will be the chests that will hold your loot that you get. Now you're going to want to take a fence and place it on top of this hopper right here. And make yourself a little bit of an outline like so. And go ahead and leave my stairs back. Don't need droppers anymore. Place one stair here. Go to the other side. Same thing, a stair here. Uh, then you're going to want to grab yourself an iron door. Place the iron door on this side. Now do not replace it from here or here. You want to replace it on this side so the iron door is defaulted to open. That is very, very important. Now we'll just go ahead and uh, outline the door like so. Boom, boom. Perfect. Come in here. We're going to go like this. Break that. Like that, don't need them. Go up like, oops, go up like so. Now what you do is you grab a hook and some line string, hook here, hook here. And you want the string to go between the two so you're gonna have to put it on the door. Hold down shift, there you go, and now it is on the door. Now the next thing you're gonna need is a lever. This is going to be your on off switch. You're gonna place that right here. Go ahead and flick it when you put it down. And in order to get the signal to the door, block here, dust there. Perfect. All right, we're gonna need one of you here in a minute. Now you're gonna to wanna to start bringing the signal down. We're gonna make ourselves a little bit of a timer. And what this will do is if there's some sort of a lag spike or something, it'll reset the system and make it to where everything runs smooth. So put a half slab there put a dispenser facing that direction on no delay another block off the side of this dispenser to do that just hold down shift right click on the side of the dispenser redstone whoops sorry redstone dust here dig down two like so redstone torch here dust dust a dispenser facing that direction on zero ticks or in zero delay as well a block torch torch on top of that torch you're going to want another block another torch and a dispenser facing into the block also on no delay and a redstone dust now you'll see how this works there you go basically we just created a timer like you would on the ground but we created in a circle vertically instead of down let's go ahead and turn that off now you're going to want to wire your dropper to spit you your, uh, your fishing rod. So dig these four out right here. You're going to put another torch here on this side. You're going to put dust here, here, and a repeater here on four ticks. Now what will happen is when it's off, it's going to cause, uh, when the tripwire is not tripped, it's going to cause this dispenser to kick a fishing rod out because we're going to be putting fishing rods in here. Go ahead and put one in right now. Let's see, it makes it over to here. Well, actually, it makes it to that dropper, which needs power. Now, <clears throat> oh, come on, really? 
already got that contingency worked out. Um, what it'll do is it'll spit it out. Uh, it'll have a four tick delay. So it's enough time for you to pick it up. If you still do not need another fishing rod, this hopper will pick it up, reload it into here, or pick it up and reload it into the dispenser. That's right, and it'll just sit there. And it's, it's a pretty good little system. It works out great. Now we pretty much, that's it for the wiring. Now we're gonna just wanna pretty it up a little bit. Do not, whatever you do, place a block here because it will affect this hopper and we don't want that to happen. Just go above like so. Go ahead and cover this up. Oh, come on, there we go. Like that. And you can do like this. You know, we can make this look however we want any kind of design. You can leave it raw if you want. It's totally up to you. But basically, hey, that's what we're gonna look at right here. Now, we're going to need a pressure plate. Oops. <laughs> oh man, it put it in the dropper. Oh, oh well, we're gonna need a pressure plate. There we go. That pressure plate is going to go right there. Now what this pressure plate is going to do very simply is just stop our water from flowing out. Now when you put the water, it's very tricky. If you aim towards the top, it's gonna to put your water up here. So you wanna aim as low as you can on that step and hit your water. Now remember as low as you can, if not, it puts it up here, it'll break the hook, it'll break the silk, it'll run out here and just be a big mess. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and just for looks, grab yourself a carpet. And we're also going to need a wooden door. I suggest a wooden door just because it doesn't require signal. Carpet's going to go on top of that just to make it look pretty. Wooden door's here. Now what this door is going to do is prevent the fishing poles from being shot out that way. Now we're going to go ahead and change our game mode like so. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Change our game mode. You know what? <laughs> Probably help if I had a uh, couple fishing rods in my hand here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab any kind of block we can like so. We're going to type in fishing. I just wish there was a way to grab stacks of fishing rods. But there's not. So we're just going to grab us a couple like this. Perfect. And before we go crazy, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Feeds those into the system. Now, what you're going to want to do in order to make it so your inventory doesn't get full, um, let's go ahead and change our game mode back. You're going to take any kind of block you want, fill your entire inventory with it like so. That way, when your fishing rod, uh, when you catch something, it'll drop it here. Or it'll drop it up here actually and then that'll suck it down in and send it to your loot chest now this is real simple to get started aim your fishing rod right there middle of your door just about a pixel down and start cow well, first you got to turn the system on eh. there you go once you turn it on it just starts to roll now you just sit here and do this you'll see in just a second I'll catch something Sometimes it takes a minute, sometimes it takes a few seconds. Um, this is an AFK fishing farm. I suggest you take something and sit it on top of your mouse so it'll continuously right click. You can walk away and just let it do its thing. Come on. You know you wanna catch a fish. Normally what happens is on the first fish for some reason for me, I don't know if this is constant for everybody, but for me, on the first fish, it takes a little while. I can't seem to catch one. And then once I catch that first fish, it's on like Donkey Kong. You can kind of see the fish splashing around. Come on. Well, guys, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and talk about the channel. As always, I need you guys to leave your likes, leave your suggestions. What do you guys want to see me build? Um, do you want to see me build some sort of buildings? Do you want to see more Let's Play? I get a lot of people that view the videos and they don't leave any comments. They don't even leave likes, which is fine. You know, you don't have to. But if you want to see more stuff, you're going to need to. That's just the bottom line. There we go. You saw the fish there. And now, see, the system has reset itself. 
and we're back to fishing again. That fish fell down right on top of the pressure plate you see in front of me, and he went into the loot system next door. Let's catch, or uh, right to the left of us, let's catch one more thing, and then I will show you how the fishing pole dispenser works. Okay, that's close, good. So see, it's right now, it's spitting me fishing rods. See them? What's happening is they're falling in there. So let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh. See that? I get a fresh rod. And then I just keep fishing is what happens. And because of the timer we have set up, the system keeps resetting itself. So you basically just stand here. And until your rods all break and run out, I mean, it's, you know, you pretty much just keep going. All right, so let's reach up here and turn the system off, pull the rod back, open this door. And huh, that's because I threw that one. Check out our loot. Yep, we got one fish. I know it's not a lot, but let me tell you what, guys. You can get um, all different kinds of fish. You can get name tags. You can get some pretty awesome enchanted books. Um, I've seen Sharpness 5 books. Some pretty, pretty cool stuff. So, as always, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, share me with your friends, and God bless.